So this is interesting. I'm on Canelo Road, which is where I uh, where did my hike a couple weeks ago and where there was a fire last week. And what's interesting about it is this is the trail that I was walking on. And uh, as you can see on this side, the left side, um, it's pretty dry, but uh, that's how it normally looks over here. And then if you go across the road, all the uh, you see it's all black it's all burned all the underbrush is burned so obviously they use this road as a fire break this is um, like I said about a mile or so from where I live and they the fire crew decided this is their stand so they um, they made sure that it didn't cross over the Canelo Canelo Road and there's nothing between here and here where I'm living to stop the fire, which is like I said only a mile away, but it's uh, it's how burned out it is, but it's interesting that the trees don't look like they're too bad. It looks like it's just the underbrush that got burnt away. You can still smell the, the, the uh, burnt ashes. So there's the ashes, you can see that it's still burned. Um, but the tree looks like it might have survived. And you can see this tree the base of the tree is all black, but looks like the rest of it's still alive. Hard to tell at this point. That's my take on it. I don't know much about trees, but it looks like those these trees are all still alive. Uh, this one looks like they cut it down. Let me see. It looks like this tree was actually cut down, so uh, they may have tried to reduce the fuel of the fire by... Um, by cutting down some trees. Yeah, there's more trees here that looks like they might have been cut down. And that's it. This is what the last stand of this fire. This is where it ended. Right here.